windy out right now so i hope that uh it don't mess with the microphone i'm going to try to speak up a little bit anyway i just wanted to do a quick walk around of my van and show you guys how i kind of got it set up there um, in the front here pretty basic i don't really have anything spectacular i do have hand sanitizer which um is a necessity for floor guys because dog pee and cat pee is kind of the norm when it comes to uh floor installing so you run into that quite often so that's pretty important to have some sanitizer here in the side door um <clears throat> what i do i try to keep um everything everything that i get in and out all the time i try to keep right handy to um where I could just open my doors and grab it without climbing in. So everything that I use on a regular basis, I keep close. Come on here, come on here. That way it'll be out of the wind and stuff. Anyway, this is my tool bucket. I keep it right here by the side doors where I can just reach and grab it. This right here, I just put some... Uh, the thing with buckets is they can be good uh, a lot of them that you will buy in Home Depot and stuff like that they're going to be pretty weak right here and they won't hold the amount of weight that I have in my tools they'll want to break right there so when you do find a good one it's usually going to be a paint bucket or something like that I've even used the um, I think that might be what this is uh, yeah Kinkamon soy sauce buckets they're real good and strong but the thing is, the plastic handles always break out, and then you're left toting that wire, which can hurt, because my bucket weighs a pretty good bit with all these tools in it. So, once I found a good bucket to last, and it broke out, I just wrapped a piece of carpet around there and put some duct tape on it. Now, that gives us a nice, soft handle. Anyway, this has got all of my hand tools in it. My carpet trimmers, pouches, seam sellers. I got hammers, a uh, little roll of tape there tape measures I got all my bags of nails I got my nails that I use are in different colors of bags that way I don't have to open the bags up and see which is which is which I got these are the nails that I keep all the time this is going to be a half inch nail this is a three quarter inch nail this is a, a five eighths nail and this is a uh, wood tack strip nail. So I always keep those at all times. These are all these are all concrete nails. <laughs> is that your phone? Yeah. God. Anyway, I carry my. This is Jerry's stair tool, and uh, <clears throat> keep all my hand tools, like I said, in there. I got my blades. My stair tool right here, these are my knife blades and trimmer blades. Um, a chisel for chipping out concrete around tile. My door pin puller and pliers. As I work my way around, I got this a little bit organized too. That way when I see one thing, I know right around. I try to keep all my stuff in the same spots all the time. That way I don't have to go digging through stuff and looking for stuff. So right here, when it comes to seaming, I got my seaming, my row cutter and my napkin shears. Those are the two cutters this pocket right here is all different sorts of row cutters so whichever one i i need i know right where it is and then my next pocket right around is my seam roller so all my seam and stuff is right here in one section so i know right where everything is this is just a funky little curved stair tool i don't i don't hardly ever use it it, it kind of comes in handy sometimes underneath the toe kicks and stuff like that where you can get in there a little bit but I very rarely use it only if it's in a really weird spot because most of the time I can get my other stair tool um, in underneath the cabinet so I'll just turn it sideways stick my hand under there and use it like use it like that on the side so I don't hardly ever use that thing anyway we live in the desert here in Arizona so it gets really hot so my sweet wife made this curtain for me here what it does it keeps the air it's really hot and get up to like 110 115 and stuff like that so this is a big van so it takes a long time to cool it takes a long time to cool my whole van off it'll take 30 minutes or so for my van to actually get cool so she made this for me i can take and zip it up and uh i can slide my rolls of carpet right in there and then zip this right back down 
to the roller carpet, however high it is, and then it's just there with the roller carpet. It's actually got like a uh, like a like a vinyl lining, like you see on the uh, weather uh, the curtains that block the sun and stuff like that in motels. It's what this has got on the inside, and then it's just got like a little decorative. Since we're in the southwest, it's kind of a southwestern theme on the back of it there. So that was real nice to do that and um, keeps it cool up there. I'm only cooling off the cab. I'm not cooling off my entire van, so it works a lot better like that. So over here I got, uh, <clears throat> I built these shelves. The van was completely gutted. Whenever I got it, it was just like this on the, on the inside. There was no nothing. There was no, it was all metal everywhere. So I put the floor in myself. Let me see right here. It's kind of tore up. I've had the van for like four years now, so take some beating where I set my bucket down and scoot it and drag everything in and out this side anyway what I did I took the bottom of the floor had ribs in it I don't know if you see the back of trucks and stuff or like that they got ribs in it to level that out I took some the felt pad which is really firm for commercial carpet and cut strips of it and filled in the grooves and then I laid one full layer of pad over that and then I went with a, a I can't remember if it was 3 8 looks like about a quarter inch board is all I did just so it wouldn't be so heavy on my my van there for weight and gas purposes and then I put this industrial grade vinyl on top of it which is filthy right now my whole van is a wreck actually um, <clears throat> it helps stuff slide in and out real easy so uh, whenever I'm sliding big rolls and stuff like that in pulling them out it just slides a lot easier on this um, so I built all my shelves and everything like that with my tools in mind Okay, so I was able to build them specifically to fit my tools and stuff. So I got little slots like here It's just a little rib and a little rib here It's built up and it just keeps stuff from sliding around. This is going to stay in place This is going to stay in place. All this stuff is going to stay in place It don't slide back and forth because I got those little ribs sectioned off throughout all my shelves um, I got this right here. I built just this little cubby so it keeps all my caulkings standing up and everything. That way I can see this is like a filler for uh, laminate or hardwood or whatever. And then I got a variety of caulkings and uh, seam sealers for vinyl. Uh, cleaner, got to have that land carpet. Um, got my two boxes of tack strip. Z-bar, always got to have that. And right back in behind here even just there's no wasted space over here on the shelf side of my van everything has a place I'm actually a little bit low on supplies I usually got that is usually completely full and stuff like that of semen tape but I need to run by the supply store anyway right back here I've got my big roller for vinyl and um, commercial carpets and glue down products back here I just have a toolbox with sockets and stuff like that I don't know if you can see that it's kind of dark back there <clears throat> I got another box here. It's just got a bunch of screws, nails, and stuff like that that you need occasionally. And I use this bungee runs all the way, runs all the way back there to up here, and it just holds my hammer drill. Is what I use for um, transition strips on laminate and uh, LVP. Um, I got all these little spaces filled. If you can see back here, I've got a hacksaw, a hand miter box. This is actually a heat gun right there. This is my Pam glue gun. Um, cords, first aid kit for band-aids and stuff. You got to have that working with razor blades all the time. Um, here, mud bucket. <clears throat> Had some extra LED lights put in here and in the back. So at nighttime, whenever we're working late, I got plenty of light in here to see whatever I need to see. <clears throat> Always got to have jet tack. Always make sure I keep plenty of that and plenty of extra nozzles. Okay, over here on this side, because this was a gutted out van, it had nothing to it, just just that. So this side over here was pretty thin to keep it from getting all beat up. Uh, if you bang it on the inside, it's actually going to show on the outside. So I just put this board here as a protectant to keep the outside of my van looking good. Um, over here on this side again to the shelves. These are my straight edges. I got a six footer and a three footer right there. What I did, I just took a little half inch piece of a uh, piece of wood here screwed it to my shelf here and then put this here so that works is like that 
and I put carpet in between it so it's a snug little fit so I can slide my straight edges in and out and the carpet keeps it tight enough from keeping them moving shaking around I want to point that out too I got carpet on all my shelves just a real thin carpet see how thin right there indoor outdoor carpet but anyway I got carpet all on the inside and on the back because I'm kind of a pain in the butt when stuff starts rattling I want it to stop rattling so I took some extra prevention and just lined my shelves with carpet and stuff nothing real fancy because it's just a work van but anyway it keeps stuff from rattling keeps metal you know I got caulking guns and stuff like that and my my other gun is in here I keep all that stuff with cords in between them just because it keeps that from rattling all right let's go around to the back door and we'll take a look there Again, everything that I use on a regular basis I want to keep handy so I can just come and grab whatever I need without climbing up there every single time so my tool bucket that I take in every single job is up by that door my stretchers is right here I've actually got another set keep this in there just a little wadded up piece of carpet keeps that from rattling on bumpy roads and stuff and I got my framing square I keep it there keep in between and then I got another set of holes right here for for long rooms okay so I got three sizes come on up out the window a little bit if you can I got three sizes of two by sixes I've mentioned this before in my videos but this is where they stay at and I keep them because whenever you're going across a big a big wide door like a sliding glass door or if you're working in a house that don't have baseboards you always want to put something down um, you'll push a hole right in the sheetrock if you don't have baseboards and for going across like I said wide areas like a, a big wide doorway or sliding back doors or something you can put that two by six down there and continue stretching right across it you can push off of the board so I keep three different sizes of those one short one for the hallway and then about a six footer and then I got like a nine footer there. So I got, just makes it convenient to have three different sizes. Sometimes I would get in positions where I, I needed one a little shorter or a little longer. So I just started carrying three with me. Um, I keep my kickers right here. Real handy to get because I take them out almost every single job. I got my chalk, chalk line and a tape measure I keep right here at the back for when I come out and I cut my carpet up to take it. Um, again, the thing with the straight edges, I keep them right here. This is real convenient. See, I can just stand right here and grab them in and out. I don't have to climb up in there or anything like that. They're real easy to get to, and they just slide right in and out. They got enough tension on them, though. Like I said, it's where they don't rattle. They got the carpet on the inside of both sides. So they got enough tension where they're gonna stay put without rattling, sliding back and forth when I hit my brakes and stuff like that. Um, my knee pads are right here handy which I use all the time when I'm on a tack stripping or any kind of solid floor I always wear knee pads I don't never get down on the on the hard floor unless it's just for like one second to do to tack strip a single doorway or something like that up to tile then I won't worry about getting them but if I'm on the floor any amount of time I always put knee pads on um, by the way my van did not come with a step so I had a buddy of mine actually fix this step and he welded it on for me that was perfect right there it really sucks to step up that high when you've been doing carpet for a long time because your knees get kind of kind of sensitive so that little half a step is a lot better anyway these right here are super awesome these are the forearm forklifts um, I really want to do a video on these one day these are so helpful when it comes to moving furniture and stuff like that anybody that moves any amount of furniture I mean even if you're just rearranging your furniture in your own house these are so cheap that it's worth it to buy them they're like 20 bucks you can get them at Walmart and stuff like that they're super awesome you can lift up unbelievably amount of weight with these without hurting yourself or straining <clears throat> okay so I guess that's gonna be about it I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I had my van set up there maybe it would give somebody some ideas and something I don't know another thing I always want to if you'll notice I keep my teeth rolled in all the time on my kickers I don't never let them stay out your kicker teeth need to stay sharp so they don't 
slide on top of the carpet to actually need to dig in the back. So always roll your teeth up in your kickers, okay? Don't set them around on hard surfaces with your teeth out. You're going to run your kicker and run the carpet that you try to kick. So This is a commode flange. I'm sure most of you guys know that. I always keep one of these on the van for uh, whenever I do underlay or something like that, I can mark out my boards, set that down, trace around it, and then I got my circle that I need to cut out for the commode. So, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to, like I said, try to show you guys how I got my van set up. So, maybe it'll give somebody some ideas or something like that anyway. So, maybe somebody can get some use out of this.